Cheers, bitch. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a get ready with me a New Year's Eve sip and story time. So I have me some Liberty Creek Vineyards pink Moscato and we just gonna have a nice um, December 31st it is New Year's if you're new here don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and my name is Janae but y'all can call me soul uh, life with soul that's my stage name that's where I'm gonna go off by but this channel is basically about accountability self-development us as women or us as people in general um, holding ourselves accountable for the mistakes that we make um, this is just this is a channel about growth growth within yourself and knowing that it's okay to make mistakes so you know so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get started with this story time this is gonna be one of my whole chronicles where i fucked two dudes in one night i believe i was about 23 going on 24. this was in the beginning of summer so i was on tinder right i was always hanging out with you know women and girls and you know trying to find like a friend and stuff to people that you know i can like really vibe with but i can never vibe with anybody so i tried you know hanging with dudes and obviously you know being a dumbass girl at that time you know you don't really kind of know everything about how men work in this generation and shit like that there was this one guy we're gonna call him jim <laughs> so he was chubby right but he was cute in the face so you know i don't like if you're cute in the face and you're chubby it'll, it'll be all right with me like you'll be all right he was not he had a chocolate face but he also had this cute baby face so he was like he was a cute chubby boy he was like a church going dude you know he was a uh, you know um a singer he can really actually sing really well obviously i hung out with him maybe like twice or three times he calls me on the phone one day he's like hey do do you want to watch Law and Order? And I was like, shit, why not? And I'm not really much of a Law and Order fan like that, but you know, I was like, why not? I get there and there was like no food. I'm like, for you to be a big nigga, don't you think that your ass needs to have some snacks for a little bitch like me? This is gonna be boring as fuck. I should've went home cause there was really no snack, but I stayed. So, so he ends up singing this song to me and shit like that. But I was just like, <sighs> Why are you even singing to me at this point? Maybe 30 minutes went by. Let's move, let's go to the bedroom. So I was like, all right, my stupid ass. <laughs> so we get to his room, right? Everything was dark. He was like, you can lay in the bed. And I was like, I looked around to see if there was a couch. There was no couch. This nigga follows behind me and I'm like, nigga, the fuck is you doing? Let me eat. He kisses me and I was just like, well, you kind of cute. Next thing you know, he's unbuckling my pants. Here I am looking to my right, TV, just pretending like this ain't just happening, but I'ma just look at this damn TV. I'm really not sure if it was Fast and the Furious or fucking Law and Order. It was one of those goddamn movies. Good three minutes. I look and here's this dude lifting my legs up like this. He goes ahead and slides it in there and I was like, here is the problem. His dick was the size of my nail right here. I bullshit you. Know. This is not happening. Are you serious? And all I hear is, <laughs> <laughs> why is he huffing and puffing? I look down, this little bitch slips out of my vagina and I'm like, what the fuck? He was like, oh, yo, this shit's so wet. And I was, the, all I heard was this. I'm just like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> you think you doing something, doing all this to my legs and I'm just sitting there like, make a back flop. No white dick. This is so embarrassing. Bitch, am I a rag doll? And this shit was just making so much noise. I was starting to hear SpongeBob songs in my head. I, we were bumping coochies, but lesbian sex is better. Nigga, we were just bumping Brillo pads. All I was thinking of was squid word, squid word. <sighs> this is so good and I was just like. <laughs> You know how we be faking shit with niggas, right? I really wasted my time. I really could have just stayed home. This nigga ruined my whole entire pH balance. You know how he did it? Bit on my cooch. I was like, nigga, you really trying to fuck up my pH balance? You know what? I rolled my pants up. I fucking left because I was just so mad. I was like, how is it that your ass ain't one, fucking dick the size of my nail? Two, got the nerve to say, who is it? Third, your ass had the nerve and the gumption to try and spit on my JJ? Fourth, you really ain't had no snack. Pull my pants up. He was like, you don't wanna stay, you don't wanna stay and watch Law and Order? And I was like, hell no, nah. you know what? I'm about to go, have a good one. And he was like, well, let me walk you out, bruh. I just the fuck out of that place and it is, I even let him collect his draws off the floor. So basically my ass ain't never talked to him that. He's still texting me after that, but I go to his ass based off of that. I was just like, bruh, I will never be okay with this. I never thought I'll ever tell this story to anybody, but these are one of my hidden hole chronicles. Right after that, 
I hit this dude up that I went to school with. I was in trade school at this time. You know, he was cute as well, actually. He was actually way taller than me, had a really nice beard, really gorgeous skin, and really ch gorgeous chocolate brown eyes, right? And had a nice ass body. You know what? I'm gonna give your ass a chance because one, you have been trying to earn it. And you know what? Y'all, you can go ahead and... I went from old dude's house straight to over here. So I was just driving, right? I was like, all right, I'm about to finally get some. I'm like, matter of fact, let me go and stop by this 7-Eleven to cleanse white because ain't no way I'm gonna keep on, ha like I'm gonna have just false wet hope. Fuck that. So I went to his house, right? Get there, excited, because I'm like, I'm gonna finally get me some. Get in there, mind you, he has roommates. So I was, I was aware to be quiet, talking a little bit. Takes off his shirt. His bathroom is like right here, right? And he was in front of me, but his bed is like this way, but facing this way, right? And I was on there and I was like, damn, this boy look good. Takes off his pants. I was like, who? okay take off them drawers and dropped it i was like that nigga really hangs like he like if you see this in person in sephora or anything this is how long he was hanging but a little bit longer than that you see what i'm saying so i'm over here like i'm ready bitch you finally gonna get you some bitch because you about because you was tired bitch i had a whole drought season bitch i'm ready girl so he gets on top of me right he really did look good right i'm just like Oh, I'm excited, bro. <laughs> She's ready. She's ready to go. He finally inserts it, right? And I'm just like sitting here like this. You dumb bitch. Monkey on a porch, bitch. He on me like this. His strokes look like this. So he was like, one, four, two, one, three, one. And then he comes and I was just like, let me redo this. Let's try this again. So he was like, one, two, one, one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That is it. That was it. I wasted my time again. He gets up off the bed, grabs a towel from his bathroom, wipes him clean off me, and I'm just, y'all know what I'm finna say, right? I know y'all hear that song, right? And I'm and I'm bliss. He it was literally 30 seconds. Soon as he finished, my ass went home. I legitimately cried. Two bodies that couldn't even make a count. But you know what? Why you know why I say it won't count? Cause just like Megan said, it never happened if the dick was snapping. I'm a hot girl. I do hot shit. You ain't fuck me. He and I really would have made a cute couple. I ain't seen that dude since then. Actually, you know what? I lied. I actually went back maybe after two, three times just to make sure I wasn't tripping. No, it was he was literally a 30 second man and I bullshit you not. I'm still trying to figure out how the fuck did you even have two girls off a of three stroke? That just be insanity to me. How do you have children? Just stop having sex and just start pleasing yourself because that's just the best thing at this point because that is the actual story. That's my little mini story time that i had right there because bitch i was just like are you fucking kidding me right now i can tell you so many countless stories where i had dudes just disappoint me in sex a lot and i know y'all had the same thing and i know y'all can comment down below and also like comment and subscribe to my channel and like this video and comment so engage with me right now since that we are going into 2022 i kind of want to also talk about something else too y'all probably gonna be like damn girl are you done talking i'm like no bitch i never stop talking because some things that i'm saying really will benefit you if you just listen and stop being a dumbass. in 2022 what are you guys not tolerating what do you not have energy for that's what i really want to talk about so let me tell y'all what i don't have energy for dead end friendships dead end anything I don't have time for any of that even though I already been on that I think it's just more so right now I'm tired of hearing the same fucking thing over and over for me on some real shit I had to cut off two friends recently right and it's not because I don't love them or I will or anything like that but I had to cut them off for my own benefit they have been in the same position non-stop for years including myself but now that I see my ways I'm moving out of this environment that I'm in that's really toxic and I'm going to move into a better place and that can mean friendships platonic places whatever um it can mean addiction for you guys whatever right I want better for all of us like we all do like I understand a lot like you can't control people and like how you know they do shit but a lot of people don't like to keep it real with themselves or be honest I feel like a lot of people really do like toxicity I'm low tolerant on people I see the same bullshit the same narrative every day like there's always n love problems around me always constantly and I'm like I'm sorry I just don't have the capacity nor the time to give a fuck about your problems anymore I have been literally there for people a lot 
over the years i'm completely over just being there for people i learned to just trust myself and my intuition more now than i have ever and it has saved me a lot of times actually i just came to the terms that i'm just not going to go against self anymore it's always like just listening to other people's problems and i'm like y'all i really don't give a fuck i have my own shit to worry about and this is why i don't answer phone calls this is why i don't answer text messages it's just insanity to keep listening to the same thing in 2020 2021 i'm not going into 2022 with this shit i'm not tolerating that shit i just want to know what are you doing to better yourself what are your solutions to it and you know how you have those friends right they ask for your advice but they always do the opposite and i'm like at this point don't ask me bitch i'm tired of talking to you it doesn't resonate with you because you're not there mentally i am far way more grown mentally but but my surroundings around me do not match up with that like i hate when i get on the phone and then there just be dead silence I'm like, this is just waste of my time. Speak of, of any, you're not speaking of anything of value. Get off my line at this point. And I just, I stopped talking to people. Like seriously, if I get a weird vibe from you, yeah, I'm moving. And people probably, probably think like, oh, it's all in your head. And I'm like, my, I, I'm like, I have done enough conviction of myself and done enough healing of myself to know when my intuition is telling me that somebody is off i'm realizing like two of my closest friends that i have loved dearly to my heart are not we're just not there mentally and it's okay like they out probably outgrow me i outgrow them they got their own journey i got mine that's cool in order for you to receive your blessings you have to remove the people that are toxic in your life you got to look at a person's lifestyle and how they operate trying to operate your life as well that's like the blind leading the blind i'm protecting my energy i'm protecting my assets i'm protecting shit that i work i'm working hard towards so that if that means if i'm going to elevate in life i have to get rid of the people around me spite them being good people or not just based off of what i observed with them i just knew it would have been best for me to just solo dolo this shit out the people that you are around you have to observe their lifestyle this is the only way you are able to move forward in life once you evaluate their lifestyle and then try and compare it to yours just to see if if y'all all have the same goals it won't align right so ours never aligned right me so in 2022 i am not tolerating dead end friendships i'm not tolerating bs and not even bs for myself i'm actually going to stay consistent yeah that's pretty much what i guess i wanted to talk about in regards to this i'm sorry that it was short and i think kind of all over the place but it's just yeah so that's what i'm not tolerating for um 2022 and also as well as just i feel like with every each passing day now i'm going to be doing better in regards to getting myself exactly where i need to be at the right time so i'm going to be putting myself in rooms with um people who are on the same mindset as me and um yeah i can't wait to learn more about this year and me just being yeah, officially 27 i mean not 27 officially 28 Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I really don't like this wig. Can y'all find me, like, can y'all tell me, like, a wig that's, like, ten times better than this in all honesty? I don't like it. So, yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and go. I really hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Um, or I already have this video done already, but um, um, I just never uploaded it. So, it's going to be... Uh, either tomorrow that I finish it or next week. So anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, so happy, happy new year.